What's up guys, LBF back here, back again with another Vans review. Today I got the Takahayashi Skate School LX. Got the way on this is Nubuck Harry Suede Blue Graphite. These are a size 13 and as you can see, retail was 125. Taka finally switched up the box here. We got something a little more vibrant. Uh, doesn't have those earth tones anymore, so that's pretty cool. This bright red drawer box style. Shell of the box in the red color. The drawer in a black with a nice brass ring. Details are gonna be in a cream throughout the box. Definitely a nice change of pace. Also comes with this newer dust bag. Pretty much just looks like the standard one except it doesn't have the uh, stripes on it, so that's pretty cool. Uh, just that simple Takahashi feather graphic there on the top and a black print. And then you got the drawstring in black as well. This latest Takahashi collection released, uh, I guess about a month ago now, maybe a little bit less than a month ago actually, releasing in two different styles. There was the Skate School LX here, which released in three colorways, and also a Mountain Edition Low, which released in three colorways as well. Now the Mountain Edition is definitely a shoe that you don't see very often, actually that low version. I guess it's the first time that they've done that as far as I can remember. I, I know that they had the Syndicate one, the very first Syndicate release uh, was a Mountain Edition Low, and it was in a Velcro style, while this one is just a straight lace up. So. Uh, a little bit different. Definitely nice to see Taka bringing in a couple new silhouettes. While the Skate School LX here is a completely different model. So I'm pretty sure this is the very first time that this model has been used. I'm trying to compare it to some of the other silhouettes uh, Vans has in their catalog. And as far as I can tell, the closest thing that comes to it is gonna be this AV Classic High which also has the ollie pad, the deconstructed upper, and then of course the jazz stripe. Pretty much just a skate high with the ollie pad that's deconstructed. So it's pretty much what you get here with the skate school. It's a very deconstructed shoe. Uh, the combination of that Harry suede and Nubuck making up the entire upper, which by the way, materials, I don't even have to say it, it's a Takahashi release, just, absolutely outstanding um, but anyways yeah it does have kind of like that skate high look to it you do have the jazz stripe which is just stitched in there it's very subtle um, you almost can't even tell if you look at it from a different angle toe box on the other hand is something um, different this is like a I guess a Takayashi style I know we saw the same style toe box with those nomads of perforated nomads that dropped um, maybe last season or the season before so definitely not a new style, but something very clean. The Ollie pad on the, um, the lateral side of the shoe here. And this is gonna feature this like crepe rubber, very nice texture to it with of course that Takahashi like sundial triangle design on the, the edge of it. Sits on top of a very subtle off-white midsole and this is very subtle. I mean, it pretty much just looks white to me, maybe with a contrast to that blue graphite color. That Nubuck making up the heel portion, the top of the collar, and then of course the toe box and tongue. Like I said, this Nubuck is just on point, super soft. On the tongue itself, we got the Vans Takahashi graphic on there. Some more of that like sundial type triangle design on the top of the tongue, just on that new buck piece. The Harry Sway making up the rest of the shoe. The laces that come with these are gonna be these really nice braided laces and the braid color is in a black and I guess like a navy combo. Definitely gonna keep those in. Extra laces that came with these are like a flat waxed um, off-white lace, which also would look pretty good in these. You can definitely see it. Like I said, the shoe is super deconstructed. This thing is like no padding whatsoever on the heel portion there. You got a single metal eyelet on the top on both sides of the shoe. Some more of that, or well actually, this is where the pigskin leather starts on the bottom portion of the tongue, makes its way down to that toe box, which also has the reverse side of the new buck. 
You got your Navy Takahashi insole in there with the Takahashi graphic. Sorry, a school of kids just dropped off right next to me. Um, anyway, so this silhouette is definitely inspired by skateboarding. Um, obviously, you got the Ollie pad on there, which does say destroy. It's meant to be ripped up. And then on the reverse side here, we even have the classic Vans number one skateboarding shoe. So that was kind of cool to see in here. I don't think that um, Take actually usually uses that design. On the outsole, we do have the like sun rays that we've seen on some of the past releases. You got the dark navy color and then a combination of the gum as well. Takahashi heel tab on the back. And that's pretty much it. These guys are super comfortable. I really love the deconstructed design. I'm always a fan of any kind of decom when it comes to vans. Just like that minimalist look. So they do fit true to size. Like I said, retail was 125 on these. Um, you guys can find these at select Vans Vault retailers. I know there's not a lot of shops out there that sell Takahashi, so definitely do your research. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoy the review. Sure, stay tuned for the on feed. Hey guys, so I completely forgot a couple of things I wanted to point out in this review. So just a quick little uh, edit on the end here. On the eye stay of these, there's these little grooves that they've cut out on the edge, as you can see, kind of dips down a little bit there. Well, these grooves are like perfect uh, to set the lace in there. So when you have these like laced up nice and tight, it's not going to kind of like move around the lace. It's going to set right in that little groove. So um, definitely thought this one through. You can't even see the grooves on some of these because the laces are just perfectly set inside. Also on the interior of the shoe here, the lining is also going to be in that hairy suede. Um, probably like a little bit more subtle on the suede. It's not as long, but... Um, still a very nice material, definitely very soft. So yeah, I just wanted to throw those little things in there. Hope you guys enjoy the review.